My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a really special find right here. Very desirable 1965 Chevy Impala convertible. It's a 62,000 mile survivor. It's mostly original paint, all original metal, original interior, has the 327 under the hood, a four speed sticking out of the hump on the floor, and it's original Posi rear end. Pretty special car. One family owner uh, all of its life right here in central or down, I'm in Illinois. This is from down in r rural Illinois. Um, go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, study the pictures. And that's where you can find price tags on every collector car that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. You enjoy the videos? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, that top is down. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, a Survivor red convertible, you don't find that because who lets a red convertible just sit around? Someone's going to want to buy the car or use the car. Um, so it is 62,000 original miles. The underside of the car has been maintained as needed. Uh, like some brake hoses are new. The shocks have been replaced. Uh, bottom of the motor is super clean. The orange oil pan and looking up at the motor, it's fresh. <clears throat> has the correct screw on canister, uh, oil filter, the correct type starter, has the original uh, Muncie four speed, I think it's an M20, and it has its original 12 bolt uh, 331 Posi rear end, it's dated to this car. Has a nice dual exhaust, um, yeah, just very respectable, solid, clean underside. The body itself is all original metal, never been rusted. I bought this at a show down south from here, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I don't remember the entire story, but the gist of it, this is a one family owner car. I talked to someone else that wasn't even the guy selling the car, and he's been aware of this car. He's the one who painted, there's like one panel on here that's been painted, and he painted it. Um, but every, everything he told me verified the story that the seller was telling me. And my own inspection <clears throat> uh, verifies it as well. So anyway, the body, the gaps are spot on, square, flush, straight. No dents, no damage, no rust. That fits precisely. The fender is outstanding. All metal. Gaps are right on. There are no bubbles down here. Yeah, that fits smooth as can be. The wheel well opening is all smooth. There's no bubbles, no issues. The trunk fits square and flush. All of this lines up real nicely. This side's just as good. Now it's got the round tail lights. That's a big deal. They did away with them in 66. And it seems like people, including myself, really prefer the round tail lights of a 65. It's a cool feature. Uh, this side is just as straight, shiny, smooth, no rust, no damage. It all fits square and flush. Now the paint, it's original paint. You walk up to it, especially out in the sun, it, it looks new. If you inspect it, there's little nicks, little imperfections. Uh, there's a little a little bit bigger issue right here, a little nick or something in the paint flaw. Paint's rubbed thin a little bit right there. Got the 327 cross flag emblems. Little tiny speckly rock chips on the front. You would expect to see that. If that was pristine, I would say, uh-uh, it's been painted. A uh, few minor imperfections in the paint here. And again, you're looking for those, and that's when you're going to notice them. The chrome up front, all straight, shiny. It has the T3 original headlights in the car. The grill is in real nice shape. The hubcaps are excellent. Uh, the windshield is very clear. It looks like it's probably the original because there's a little, 
I, I, I actually I didn't see anything. I thought I seen a nick, but it wiped off. All this stainless trim is real nice. The chrome vent window frames are shiny. It has the bow tie mirrors. They're excellent. All this trim on top of the doors. It's never been restored. And it's straight and shiny. The metal door edge guards. These are the originals. The new stuff is like a stick on plastic, but this is the original metal door edge guard. Got a couple little bumps in it. Door shuts real nice. Got the rear antenna. All the trim's real nice. All this trim is excellent. The bumper, uh, real shiny and straight. Yeah, the, the paint is amazing, uh, you know, original condition. I'm going to guess this was painted. Because this has patina and this is like, like a you know pot perfect. So I'm gonna guess maybe even coming down here. Almost looks like from here to here was maybe painted. The color is spot on, just that it's pristine where the rest of it has minor imperfections. Convertible tops in excellent shape. You can see pictures of that on our website. So why don't we uh, stop it and uh, let's look inside. Now this is one of the best preserved trunk compartments that you'll see. Uh, so under the trunk lid, this is the original paint. Look how nice it is. You got the old stickers here. Uh, this is for the posi rear end. The weather strip is in real good shape. Well, it's a little tattered along the bottom here, but that's the original weather strip. What I really like is the spatter paint, that gray and white spatter paint. That's from the factory. I've seen enough of them to know the stuff out of the spray can is different. We did touch up under the mat. That's a little bit of spray can just missed it over right there because there was some moisture under there that tarnished the metal. So that's rock solid. But you do not find convertibles with original spatter paint. You just don't find it. Uh, you got uh, a spare jack assembly is all there. Well liner looks real nice. So you got a really, really nice, well-preserved trunk compartment in original condition. Now the weather strips are the original, so it might be a little tattered on the edge, but overall very good. And uh, considering we're claiming this to be a survivor, uh, I think the jams in that are in great shape. Uh, the door panels are excellent. Uh, the armrests, the window cranks, all that looks really nice. The dash area is all nice, not beat up or abused. The dash pad's not warped. The lenses, the plastic are real nice. Original AM radio, heater control panel. Heater controls are real nice. Even the ashtray, I think, is pretty clean, and the lighter has maybe been used a few times. So they weren't smokers. Uh, glove box, liners, original, the light works. I think it's the original carpet on the floor. I know this is the right shifter for a bench seat. It's got the curved handle with the reverse lockout. It has seat belts. The upholstery is in excellent shape, front and back. This is all real nice. Side panels are real nice. Now, I guess it's possible the seats may have been reupholstered. Just so hard to tell. They're so nice. Maybe just the front seat. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, at any rate, you can tell this is a low-mile nice car. You can drive it out our parking lot. And before you even hit the street, you'll agree with me because they just feel different. So nice and smooth. Survivor cars have been doing very well. You know, you can restore a car a thousand times. You can't, can't make it original. Uh, so the motor, that must have been repainted because the paint just disintegrates after uh, over time. But it's a nice Chevy orange. All the correct manifolds, valve covers, air cleaner, breather cap. Uh, it's a four barrel that's on there. Look at the writing on the wall. That's going on the assembly line. They'd have different markings that let the, the people working uh, know different things, you know, how to build the car. It does have power steering. It is manual brakes. 
It has a Delco battery topper to look like an original. It has a disconnect. But look how nice all the metal is. Look at this up here, the core support. Smooth. All this is so nice. You have the glass bottle here that had your washer fluid concentrate. You would dump a little in here and mix it with water. But a super nice clean motor compartment. So I think this car has a lot going for it. For one, it's a 65. Again, I really like that. We have a red four-speed convertible, 327 Posi. That by itself is very desirable. Find that in a 62,000 mile clean original car like this, you won't. There's not another one out there. So has a lot going for it. It's a special car. Uh, the top is power, by the way. I just seen the power top switch, and I thought I'd mention that. Go to volocars.com. I gave you my impression, what I know about the car. Talk to the salesman. They'll ask, uh, answer your questions the best they can. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance this car. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.